movie Terminator, describing a world that destroyed and controlled by robots with a super AI. And all of this happened because army higher official see the value of combination of AI and robots and heavily invest in it. This story was portrayed by Jim Cameron in 1980s. And also the same story make him from a truck driver to one of the biggest movie producer in the field. After 40 years of the movie publishing, with the develop of robots industry, we suddenly see a loss of parallel between reality and the movie, especially from U.S. Department of Defense starting investing in a company called Boston Dynamic, one of the best motion robots in the world right now. Two, China recently published their national plan. Their plan is within five to 10 years to make China into the highland of manufacture for robots. It seems like they're knowing something that we do not. In this video, I'm gonna use research paper as a clue to show you what is the status quo of robots and why so many government is heavily investing in it. And second, why is robot will enter our life soon? And not in terms of they serve you, but replace you. From research paper and quotation from each other's, you can see uh, for robot, there's mainly three branches of technology tree that people studied of. First, motion. Second, look. Third is the brain of robots. Let's look at the first sector, motions. Regardless what company that produce robots, you will always see them release a clip of their robots and move around because that's what most eye-catching for most people. The best company doing motion for robots is what we mentioned earlier, Boston Dynamic. They used to own by Google and uh, SoftBank. Now their ownership is transferred to Hyundai, a uh, Korean company. And they publish their own clips of how amazing their motions are. It's basically described this robot try to deliver a bag to the owner in this construction site. Until today, most people still don't believe that's a true clips because how difficult motion the robot down. They can move the board, they can jump around, they can even change the environment around them so they can reach the goal. In the end, they even do a 360 backflip, which I believe lots of people who are watching this can't even do. And because this high function movement, they even do lots of rescue job within very dangerous environment. And for the same reason, they also attract investment from army higher official, just like how movie was described. Let's go into the second technology tree called the brain of AI. In the movie, the whole revolution and robots replace humans start with this one company called Cyberdyne. They invent a piece of hardware, basically mimicking how brain network learning work and they inject that piece of hardware into robots. And because how fast they learn, is suddenly causing issues. And let's come back to reality. The brain of the robot nowadays, the most advanced, is basically put an a AI into the robot's brain. And the AI technology using called neural network machine learning. There's a two companies are doing the best within the brain part of the robots. Number one, Tesla. Their most famous robot recently published called Optimus 2. There's a lots of clips showing the robots can forge your clothes or even water the flower. What they do in the best in Tesla is actually make the robots have a real human eye. They using AI to recognize item and put tag on the item, basically transform a 2D videos into 3D modeling within the brain of the robots. If you follow a lot of technology news, you will know, wait a minute, this sounds like very familiar. And the answer is yes. They basically using Tesla car, like Model 3's soft drive feature and directly transform into the brain of the AI. They turn 2D image into 3D modeling within the brain. 
And the company that directly compete with Tesla is a company called Figure AI. This probably will become the signature company within the robots industry. They only established at 2022. However, they're receiving the algorithm and calculation power support from OpenAI and Microsoft. They also attracting funds from NVIDIA, Amazon. And most of their worker is actually hired from Google, Apple, and Boston Dynamic. After watching their introduction of their own robots, that's the moment that first time I feel like, yeah, robot probably will enter human life soon enough. They can recognize what is Apple. They can understand what to do after you eat certain food on the plate. They know how to wash dishes, fold the laundry, etc. And the level of understanding of this robot is never be seen before. And of course, their advantage is exactly like Tesla. And then let's go to the last technology tree called look of the AI. Just like the movie main character, the robot act by Arnold. His name is T-800. What's so specific about this robot is they can actually wear a human look. You cannot even distinguish are he a human or a robot unless you do some damage to them. And that also become reality. The company that do it the best is a UK company called Engineered Art. The robot they publish name Amica. They have one of the most complicated facial expression, even can compete with a human. And after GPT-4 was published, they even connect Amica with the GPT-4. They can even read your facial expression and change their reaction. For example, you really like to watch a certain style of a streamer playing a certain game. They can mimic that person's voice based on your feedback of your facial expressions. And of course, there's also a Japanese robot company. They are collecting a lot of very beautiful females face and structure of the face and make one of the most beautiful uh, robots and the name of the robot's name actuate f after understanding all those directions what is the most advanced product we can only answer the first question what is the status quo of robots however those are not the robots will enter human life in the larger scale the robots will actually enter human society is actually star from a hidden corner that nobody really pay attention to is B2B company to company. The robot that is most likely to be mass produced almost even this year is a robot like you see right now, Digit. He's invested by Amazon and other big company. This robots have a no look, no brain, or they can even do very limited motion. They don't even have a finger to lift and open the door. However, what they function the best is actually organizing heavy stuff in manufacture and in inventories. Now, we probably don't even have to be worried about people get underpaying the factory in the manufacture, or even, you know, they get a very bad working condition. But the sad thing is they may not even have a job to begin with. And this kind of replacement not just stopped there. Another robot was even invested by OpenAI called Apollo. He also has the minimum 3D modeling capability we mentioned earlier. What they're doing the best is accurate repeatedly motions. If they get mass produced, people who are doing cashiers, who work in the fast food, work in the coffee shop, or even construction, well, soon enough, losing job to those robots because they do not get tired. They can do 24-7 as they barely make a mistake, especially nowadays, for example, McDonald's. They need everything to be standardized. Who can make a standardized product better than a robot that is good at repeat actions? And after you hear this, you probably realize, wait a minute, our robots is replacing humans. In order to answer that question, I want to point out one of the interesting finds I had while doing this research journey. When I started learning about the most advanced robots from different companies, I suddenly realized they are trying to dedicate it to make robots more capable or more even look like human. But the question is, why? 
Later on, I realized the answer is that the world we live in right now is most convenient for humans. For example, if robots have wheels, they can uh, move around like the cars, and it's faster. But the question is, because for example, building have a stairs, even when you climb a mountain, there is a stairs. Without a leg and joint, it's almost impossible to be part of this society anymore. Or without finger, you cannot even open the door. So everything is built based on human centric method. So if we want to make something to help us, we also need to make them more and more like a human. However, because how much this thing like human, they may have the capability to replace us. Then you ask, why the heck we need to spend all this effort just for them to replace us? I want to use an example to demonstrate that. Just imagine human and transportation, right? Human are capable of moving around with your foot. However, people design cars, uh, boats, and uh, planes. But just imagine a big piece of metal moving around super, super fast, probably will cause lots of hazard and death. But if you have the chance to travel back in time, there's a button for you to press. If you press it, there will be no transportation in the world and no hazard. What would you choose? And that would be the question that I want to leave to you in the end of this video. In the end, I really hope you learned something today. My name is Paul. I will see you next time.